Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Sapuche, and I've got another video today. I just got to look for it. It's wandering around. Okay, all right. So, with the pandemic going on and so forth, a lot of guys are out there fishing, and a lot of them are getting into fishing that they haven't done before, which is pretty cool because for us, we create a lot of the tackle here. This is Hard Life's Bait and Tackle. And one of the things we do here are sail lines. Check this out. Yeah. Got a bite. Got a bite. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got a bite. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. So a customer has their own sail line. They've got their PVC here. However, their sail is was made by somebody else. And it's super tight on there, and he doesn't get to adjust it the way he wants it adjusted. So, he wants me to recreate it, and by doing so, I'm going to make the sale to where he can adjust it the way he wants. Because right now, he can't do it. Once it pops into place, it's real hard to come up and down. He can't angle it or anything like that. So, I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. Alright, so... Even, even just trying to get on here normally, right now, without even having the other side pinned up, it, it's really tight. And what it's also doing is it's pulling in this PVC. So again, like I said, it's not allowing him to work the sail the way it's supposed to be worked. So. And as you can tell, the PVCs are angled in and then once he, he stretches them out to where they're supposed to be, it stays real tight. So it doesn't allow him to maneuver it. See how, like, on mine I can angle it like this? If he were to do that, he's afraid he's going to break his PVC. So I'm going to recreate it, but I'm going to leave it a little bit looser. So he, once he does stretch it out, he'll be able to maneuver it the way he wants to. So, yeah. 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 So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to split this in half, and what this will end up being is the ends that go on there. The reason I did it this way is because it allowed me to use all the fabric the way I needed to use it without having any trashed over leftover parts, so, um, yeah.
got one side stitched in, and as you saw, I did it three times over just to make sure it was good to go. But um, I wonder if it's going to fit over the PVC. Like I said, I have this built for my kind of setup, but I need to see if it's going to work for theirs. Awesome. Yes. Nope, I think we're going to be good because even then I got a little bit of extra play right here. So we're good. Awesome. Alright guys, I don't know how it happened, but my needle bent out, so the needle bent this way and came out, so I was <laughs> trying to straighten it out and it just snapped. So now I gotta go to the parts store and go buy another needle. Great. Shoot. Alright, so I just got back and had to buy some more needles to be able to Get this job completed and since I got a nice little six pack Not the proper tool for the job, but it's getting it done because. <laughs> yes, I used a spoon to do it. <laughs>
do all the final touches to it, I need to Even though I'm making them and they didn't fit his, I make mine and I make them as, or after I've already done my flags. So that's just for the next sale. So it's not wasted time, but it is wasted time because this customer wants to pick this up today. So I have to do a little better on the next.
got the customer to uh, bring in his bottom portion right here, which I desperately needed because I didn't know exactly what kind of angle he had it spread out so I can get the cell in there. So he brought it in. And I think we're going to be good to go. So I know here just a second. Now, this is what he wanted to do. He wanted to be able to angle it down, you know. And now he can do his angles right there. So, it's a little loose, but I mean, <laughs> it's real hard to do when you're trying to measure off of somebody else. Like when I make mine, I do the sail and then I create everything else around it. So I get it nice and flush, but this is where it's at. So, oh, yeah. Pain in the butt, but I got it. <laughs> Mm-hmm.